Good day doodlers, welcome to Draw Cartoons. If you want to learn how to draw the fast and easy way, this is the place to be. Frozen 2 has been the smash hit everyone expected it to be, let's be honest. And they introduced a new smash hit character too, Bruni perhaps the most adorable lizard to ever see the silver screen. My heart melted when I saw this little guy, so I just had to learn how to draw him. Throw a like on the video if you enjoyed Frozen 2, that is if you've already seen it. Don't worry, there are no story spoilers whatsoever in this video. As always, you'll need a pencil, paper, an eraser, and a sharpie to go over your sketch. Let's go. Let's get started. But first, if you want to learn to draw the fast and easy way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Let's begin! Alright, 10 points if you can guess where we're starting with this one. That's right, we're starting with the head. So, I don't know what you're going to do with those 10 points, by the way. I guess cash them in uh, for, for something one day. Maybe I'll do like a Harry Potter house kind of thing eventually, who knows. But for now, we're going to draw this kind of funny shape here. We're going to draw the head at an angle because uh, with the head tilted like this, it looks way cuter. So we're definitely going to go for that with the shape of our head. So you want to go for this kind of almost like a cut of a lemon. And then we want to draw a line above this lemon, or rather kind of to the top left of it, but above so to speak, because that's where the top of the head is, and then just gently bring some lines down, that's where the eyes are going to sit in just a moment. Um, make sure you're sketching really, really gently with your pencil, because a lot of these lines are going to erase later once we finish drawing the shape of the head. So from there, we're going to draw a couple of circles, and these circles are not going to be perfect circles. As you get to the, uh, I guess the bottom, so to speak, of each eye, you want to kind of flatten it out just a little bit. You see how it's way more curvy up here, but it's a little bit more flattened out at the cheek, and that's generally something uh, Disney do a lot with their characters. The bottom of the eye is kind of flattened out where the cheek is, but then the top of the eye gets quite curvy and quite rounded. So you can see one eye is a little bit bigger than the other. That is completely intended, don't worry. It's the angle our character is kind of looking at here, and that'll come together once we draw the rest. So we're just gonna draw a couple of bumps above those eyes. One there, just following the shape of that eye there, and then another one over here. Okay, so they're kind of like eyebrows, so to speak, or the lizards don't really have eyebrows, but you know what I mean. And let's just make sure this joins up here. We've got a bit of a gap here, so we're just gonna smooth that out and make sure it matches up with those cheeks there. And now for the smile. So uh, Bruni is a very smiley, very uh, friendly kind of character. So for the smile, we're going to start quite high on the cheeks like that. And then we'll draw across the face. And as we do, you'll notice I curve it upwards just a little bit towards the center of the face before going back down and then back to the cheek. So it's almost like an, a W that's being unfolded. It's, it's way less extreme than a W. And it comes up just a little bit in that middle and you get really, really kind of cute smile out of that. So that's a really good kind of general tip for you. Now let's put some life in those eyes. So we're gonna add a couple of circles and these circles are gonna be a little bit more perfect than the circles that they're sat inside. And one and two, make sure you're drawing one for the pupil, which is the dark bit in the middle, this bit and uh, another one outside for the iris, which is blue if you're going to colour this in at the, at the end. So another circle here, and then another circle just sitting inside of that. Uh, quite a bit of this is just looking past your guidelines. They're just there to kind of help you draw the shapes in, and then you're going to be drawing over those an awful lot. So there's the head. We've already drawn Bruni's head. It's super cute, so now we need to draw the rest of the body. Bruni's got a really, really long neck, and it's kind of a thick neck as well, so Draw two lines, one here and one here going down. This one ends way sooner than this one, and uh, it's pretty much down the very, very middle of the head. If I draw a curve down here, yeah, that neck is sitting right in the center like that. So for this one, we're going to carry this on, and we're going to dip down until it gets to about level. If I draw, don't draw this dotted line, but if I draw a dotted line, it's about level with the, uh, the other side of the neck that we drew just a moment ago, so I'll just get rid of that. So draw your curve to about there, and then you've got a choice here. I think I'm going to show you the easier way, but if, you, if you're feeling that challenging yourself, you can jump right in and draw the, uh, the legs. But I'm going to draw the body, and then I'm going to overlap it with the legs. So I like to carry this on a bit and bring it up into a curve for the tail here, and it looks really cool if you flick the tail out like that at the end. You, I mean, you can you can point it up here if you want, but uh, I think it looks better like this, and it's how it looks in the official artwork anyway. So bring this down, don't forget to thicken it as you approach the back, give it a small bump here as you approach the neck. So you see that you've got this kind of soft looking kind of body here, if I kind of outline the body a bit, and then the tail kind of poking off the end, it gets really, really thin at the end. So we've just got kind of Bruni the worm now, 
Um, but that's no problem, don't worry, it's coming together, we're going to add some legs in right now. So these little legs, if you wanted to jump in and draw the legs, this is definitely where you want to jump in now. We'll curve away from the body and bring it down till we're about, again don't draw this line, but about level with the torso, okay? Just for proportion, you want to make, that, make sure that's about level with the bottom of the belly. And then all we're going to do is draw one, two, three, and four little uh, little digits, little fingers I guess, toes, um, coming off that leg, and then bring it back up towards the body. Now we're going to do that again for the other front leg, the, the fore leg I guess. So bring this down into uh, a bit of a curve. See that kind of sigmoid shape? It starts quite thin at the shoulder, but gets quite fat towards the bottom of the leg. And that's actually something you want to try and get in all of the legs we're drawing. The legs are thicker as you approach the uh, as you approach the digits than they are at the shoulder. It's very much the opposite of how you draw a human. If you look at your wrist right now, if you look at your arm, your arm's thicker than it is at the wrist where your where your hand is. Like, oh, I've really messed up that little finger. <laughs> you, you you get you get the idea. It's really thin here. And really thick up here. That is uh, that is not what we're drawing on this guy. Uh, he is very much the opposite. Let's just get rid of that. Just a bit of guidance there. So uh, yeah, make sure it's nice and thick at the bottom. And we're going to do the same for the back leg. So it's a little bit thin at the body. Okay, lots of curves just to kind of show this. Really bump it out at the knee. Give it that cartoony look. And then one, two, three, four for digits and there's one little leg at the back here we probably only need to draw two of the digits there because we really can't see most of that leg and why not for a bit of polish we're going to add a bit of the pattern so this is all white here uh, there's a couple of purple spots there on the tail and uh, if you're going to color it in um, that's definitely you're definitely going to want to add those you're, or you may want to look at some official art as well to or watch the movie even to uh to find out where all those spots are but in this drawing i think there's just one more here on the bet on the uh, back sorry that's about it uh we can add a couple of small holes for the nostrils actually i almost forgot about that but your sketch of bruni's done at this point so uh congratulations get your sharpie and go over the lines you want to keep which means you don't want to go you don't want to go over this these are guidelines that was just to kind of show us where things are supposed to go but go over all the lines you want to keep and you'll have your very own awesome uh, inked drawing with your sharpie of Bruni from Frozen 2. Oh, what an absolute sweetheart. I want a pet Bruni all of my own. It's just not fair. Throw a little colour on him to do him some justice and you're all done. Thanks for putting up with my voice today, by the way. I'm just on the tail end of a cold right now, so I'm definitely not sounding 100%. By the way, I'd love to see all of your creations over on the Draw Cartoons Discord. You can share any drawings, tips, or video ideas whenever you want, and absolutely everyone is welcome. Just scroll down, hit the Discord link, and that's it. Welcome to the Discord Doodlers. And thanks again for watching. Make sure you drop me a like, it helps a lot, and subscribe if you want to keep learning to draw the fast and easy way. Until next time.